So yes, yeah, so we're a special group. There's a few of us around here. Rob, Jack, one of the founding partners, just arrived. He's up the back there. And Tony, and a smashing, smashing of our key people around the place. Um, and um, we do get asked to talk about a few of these things. And in the past, uh, we've tended to focus on campaigns like the um, uh, Orcom campaign we did with the Geek Pop, um, or the uh, the giant rubber duck we created to launch um, MediaWorks' new TV channel four. Um, or the Green Party campaign, which we did, which was probably the first major bit of work that Special did that got the company noticed back in 2008. Uh, right through to a campaign we did last year for Smirnoff, which is uh, these uh, um, you know, crazy uh, Smirnoff Night Project events. Um, or, um, or, or retail campaigns for people like Max Fashion. Um, right through to another Smirnoff zombie thing. So I guess we've built a reputation for doing really sort of, I guess, quite, um, quite edgy, challenging work. Um, but today I want to talk about a campaign which is, kind of comes from a different place from, the, from, from that sort of body of work, but one we're, which we're equally proud of, which is a campaign we did for uh, Unitech, um, I guess over the past sort of uh, 18 months. Um, so I'm sure you all know about Unitech, I'm sure some of you have been through Unitech, but essentially they are, they are New Zealand's largest tertiary Education um, Institute, but I'd be fair to say over the last decade, when they when they when they they, they, they attempted about ten years ago to get university status, and um, uh, at the same time as AUT were becoming a university, uh, and that and that they were the last one to apply for that, and their their application was denied. So they they, they spent the last sort of um, five years or so reorienting themselves and redefining who they are, and. Um, I guess repositioning themselves as a, you know, a polytechnic and proud of it. Um, but um, when we took the brief 18 months ago, they had two kind of really clear problems. Uh, one, they had very low awareness, particularly with um, uh, school leavers um, who were looking to go into further education. And then, secondly, um, even those people who were aware of them, and you know, when you prompt people, most people were aware of them as well. Uh, they, they weren't seen as a first choice, they were seen as almost like a kind of backup plan if you didn't get into AUT or Auckland University. Um, so people thought there was a second choice option, and I think also um, people didn't really know what Unity was about, they saw it as a little bit of a, a safety net as opposed to a really viable um, study option. Um, so um, our, our, our task was quite a big one. Um, just a little preamble to this this, uh, this, this page is that, is that the point of difference of Unitech is the average age there is of a student. There's 24,000 students there at any one time. And the average age there is uh, about 27 or 28. So rather than it being uh, always a school leaver thing, a lot of people are going back there with a, a, you know, a really clear objective to change something in their lives, to get a new skill or to um, uh, get a qualification they didn't get at school. To so people go back with a concrete change in mind. It's less of a life stage, school, university, job, and more of a conscious choice that people do, people make when they want to change something in their lives. So with that in mind, our strategy really was to get these school leavers and what we called earner learners, so some of these older students, who have decided they want a change of direction in their lives, to choose Unitech as the place to learn the chosen skill, by showing them that Unitech is the ideal place to give them the skills they need to hit the ground running in the new life. So, um, it's quite a big task, and it's a lot to squeeze into uh, traditional uh, advertising media format, if you like. Because uh, I guess from, from, from the disciplines of advertising, you spend a lot of your uh, strategic effort trying to simplify things down to a single-minded message. Um, on the, with the, you know, I guess with the learning that if you can get a really memorable single-minded message, uh, an audience is much more likely to remember that and take it out. Um, 
However, we, had a, we felt that we had a, a much bigger task to communicate than that. And um, some wise ass in the agency thought there could be an answer in doing the exact opposite. How about we try saying much more, just rethink how we use television. So I guess our belief was if we, uh, it wasn't going to be enough to say to people, um, uh, come, to, come to Unitech, it's changed, it's great, it's different. Because people, one, they, one, they didn't believe it for a start, they, they, were, they were disinterested, um, and it would take more than a, a glossy come to Otago University style ad to really change this ingrained, you know, a decade long impression of, of Unitech. We, we sort of, um, our belief really was though, and you know, having spent a lot of time on the campus and talked to a lot of students, a lot of lecturers, that they actually had a really good product going on at Unitech. Um, so our, our, our belief is that if people really saw what Unitech was really like, what the courses were like, what the tutors were like, uh, if they saw the whole story, the, the good bits, the bad bits, the, um, the challenges, etc., then we might uh, be able to change their opinions. Uh, obviously this would require a rethink of the traditional, uh, I guess, standard advertising 30 second commercial format. We would need a, a lot more time to tell the story effectively. Um, the problem with longer format um, advertising in particular is it tends to look a bit like this. Um, and we didn't really want to go down this path. It's not something we've um, ventured, it's not a territory we've ventured in at Special Group yet. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, so what, what could make this long format um, content interesting? Um, well, we figured, I guess, that it's all, it would all be about um, a really honest and real um, portrayal of the people, their journey, um, their struggles, so get, about being real about it. Um, you know, any kind of education process is tough. It's particularly tough if you're balancing it with working and all those sorts of things, so it's not all, um, it's not all sort of um, positive. So we thought if we could capture the real life journey uh, with drama, struggle, success, um, and in so doing portray the unit experience, that would be a pretty, pretty effective solution. So the, the idea was really, in the, in the, at the end, incredibly simple. Take three real unit students, film them for an entire year with all the highs and lows, and every three months release a suite of 60 second ads with billboards supporting it and web content for each of them to tell the unique story, culminating in an hour-long documentary at the end of the year, all to prove to a sceptical, disinterested audience just how Unitech can change people's lives. Um, and the, the campaign was summed up with, the I guess, this, this, the, the, the strap line, Unitech change starts here. It was quite a brave idea, and I have to sort of uh, um, pay credit to um, Jeanette Payne and the team at Unitech, the, the client, because this was not without risk. Um, because, um, you know, we, we, we deliberately um, chose to um, tell a warts and all story. And um, what if the experience was difficult for one, one of the students? What if what, somebody dropped out, got pregnant? Or um, what if the students are dicks and they don't get on with the, uh, um, the, the, the tutors? How would all of that make Unitech look? And I think, um, again, just as a sort of credit to the team at Unitech, this is different. It's a different type of risk from a rubber duck or a, a, an internet hookup with a gee pop. Because those brands are, by nature, uh, edgy and challenging. Uh, they're, they're, using, they're using that to generate uh, attention, etc. Um, but uh, Unitech's a bit of a different beast. They have, um, they've got to balance the need to g generate attention through sort of, I guess, a, a risky campaign with their obligation to their students, to their responsibility to the, to the government who funds them, etc. So they're not by inherently, uh, a, a, you know, a gung ho type organisation. So it was, a, it was a really brave, brave call on their part. So to kick this off, we chose three students. Um, it's, uh, that's Natani Takao, who's a Tongan, young Tongan guy in his, heading into his third year in nursing. Uh, and it's Alex Riley, who is the, um, I guess, the straight A student from um, St. Mary's College, who is the, um, who we deliberately chose because, uh, you know, we wanted to be, to um, communicate the fact that um, Unitech's not a place for people who want, who just want to do the manual trades or whatever. It's about, um, she, she chose, um, she chose a um, Unitex architecture course over um, Auckland University's because its reputation in some dimensions is much better. 
uh, and it's Vicky um, Tapuni who was entering her final year in um, as a photography degree. So we chose those um, three students. It was an internal, um, I guess, audition. We had about a hundred people applied for it uh, within uh, within um, the whole of Unitech, and it was quite a quite a an emotional selection process going through people talking about their lives and what they're trying to change in their lives and all of that, that aspect of it was actually it's kind of hidden from consumers but it was quite an amazing part of the the whole campaign because it what we what it what it what it meant was we had to actually engage with all the tutors and lecturers to get them to um, encourage people to submit them their their story if you like so it you know as almost as like a side effect it had a really good um uh sense of engaging the whole of the Unitech uh, organization in the campaign. So this is, the, this is what the, one of the first ads looked like. I was working for a small um, photography business and then I realized that while it's fun to watch people do the work, I wanted to have a go. I'm Vicky Tapuni and I'm doing a degree in photography at Unitech. Um, the first year, it, it's actually quite intense, so it kind of hit me like a ton of bricks. I'll be sitting in the lecture and the information will just be going straight over my head. Because I've been out of, you know, I hadn't been in a classroom since high school. Yeah, there's a difference between an 18 year old and a 27 year old. And the priorities and things like that. So I've had to work, to pay rent, um, all those sorts of life things. So trying to balance that, but also wanting to do well at the same time. Because once I get out into the world, it's going to be a lot harder. You know, it's going to be a lot more cutthroat. And I just keep telling myself, you know, this is it. You've had your years of mucking around and now it's just time to, you know, be focused and make something happen of it. So, um, the first year's ads um, that we've gone to air in December 2010. 2010. Yes. Um, with um, uh, 360 second ads, a lot of online web content, billboards, etc. Um, really well received by all the, um, uh, by, the by the academics and, 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 the, and the students. So um, off to a good start. Um, so what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I guess um, we're sort of head, heading into um, the word reality uh, TV has been used a bit around this campaign, um, and that's true. It's definitely um, you know following people through through a, a year of their life. Uh, but one of the things we're really conscious of is um, uh, we wanted this to have super high production values, so not like reality TV, not like a, a, a budget reality TV program. Andy Morton um, of Film Construction shot these. And they, I guess the intent was to um, make the people, whilst we're telling a real story, we wanted them to, to, we wanted them to look fantastic. The, um, the campaign had been structured that we'd have this year long of, um, I guess, advertising that content. But we'd also agreed with uh, MediaWorks that they would broadcast a one hour documentary um, on TV3 and 4. Um, so um, that, I guess, was the culmination of the campaign. Um, and um, I'm just going to show you, we're not going to show you the whole documentary, don't worry. Uh, but what we've done is just bang together a sort of rough edit of just um, of three, four minutes of highlights of the documentary, uh, which went to air about uh, six weeks ago. I was assisting for a photographer um, for the second part of my day, and the first part of my day I was working at a cafe. And so it was kind of like, man, I need to do something now, otherwise I'm going to be working in a cafe forever. So I sort of just came to a point where I was like, man, I need to do something that I'm going to be passionate about. And then that's what made me make the decision to, yeah, get into photography. Well, I play the drums. <laughs> this is my big band. Today is sort of our last rehearsal that we will probably ever have. So it's quite, quite sad, but um, yeah, it's good to sort of get together for one last time. Yeah, just, just do a little bit of fading on the side, both side, and uh, just uh, take off a little bit on the top. Just want to make sure that he looks like a, a student. <laughs> yeah. 
the problem is like I just want to look at the style though. <laughs> but sometimes he plays on my hair. Like <laughs> this guy, uh, whatever I give him, <laughs> he roll with it. <laughs> Mom, I just got my results back. I think I failed. Nah, just kidding. Um, I passed. I passed my exam. I um, I got a B plus. <laughs> Okay, love you guys. Okay, bye. They were so happy. Um, I was surprised when I told them. I've had a hard time reading her, but I think right now she's stuck in the worrying about the grade, and she's being a little bit timid because she wants to make sure that what she's doing is right. That's the thing that they need to get over. They need to be comfortable with experimentation, which often leads to failure. Failure is the thing that they do most of, and it's where the most of their lessons will yeah. be learned. You know, maybe what she really needs is she needs to get a C or a D and go, <gasps> crap, now, you know, I've got to do something because this didn't work. Focused, determined, no nonsense, but very caring and loyal and passionate. Definitely passionate, that would be the word. I'm thinking of a song. And I think it's it's here when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pay you after. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't really stress me out, you know, the fact that I was on billboards and my face was out there. Um, it was more the fact that it took up quite a lot of time, and yeah, that that was quite stressful. <laughs> the first time I ever saw you on TV, um, on the billboard, I was driving along and I was like. What? Nearly crashed into the guy in front of me because I was like, there's Vicky! <laughs> yeah, it was really weird just seeing you so massive. <laughs> he's like the famous guy <laughs> and he's on TV, on billboards and it's, un it's unexpected and it made us so proud of him. This whole campaign thing has helped him realise like how he can become a leader, like he, he's... It's changed him a lot because he's a bit more talkative now. Yeah, he's like sharing with everyone, <laughs> sharing his experiences with everyone. So that really rounded off the campaign. Um, it was the question, question now is, uh, uh, did it work? <laughs> um, fortunately, the answer is yes. Um, the, as I said, the big, the big, big problem um, prior to this campaign was um, top of mind awareness with school leavers, principally. Uh, and that, um, it, um, at the beginning of this year, had increased by 50% on the previous, previous year, which was a, you know, pretty dramatic increase and um, equally importantly the actual number of enrollments in the first semester this year was up 20 percent on the previous year so there are tremendous numbers which were very given the nature of the campaign was a little bit of a relief thank you very much <laughs> <laughs>